Hello everyone, uh, this is Steve, Young Adult Librarian at the West Bloomfield Township Public Library with another craft video for you. Today we are going to decorate plastic bottles. Um, so again, we're trying to use some material that maybe would go in the trash, recycling, and giving it a second life. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see here, these are two beverage bottles that I decorated. So one thing you will need, you will need some kind of plastic bottle. It doesn't have to be a beverage bottle. It could be even like some other kind of food container. Um, you definitely want to take the packaging off, the outer packaging. Um, you're going to need some kind of paint, marker, stickers, duct tape, whatever else you're going to decorate your container with once you get it ready to go. You will need some kind of scissors cutting device um, to cut the portion you don't want off. So like with my big sort of frog container here, I cut the top off once I was done with it. And I would highly suggest you try to find some primer. Um, you may have some at home, ask a parent or a guardian, you know, if you don't know, because a lot of times if you paint walls, or other things you might have some primer to cover up the old stuff. So what does the primer do? The primer gives us a nice uh, sort of canvas to work on. So you can see where I used some white primer and I primed my bottle first. So this also, so the, this gives us a canvas. If I try to, and I just did a test to see, I used some paint markers. So if you can see that, you can see that the paint really didn't show up very well. I also here did like a Sharpie marker, which gives a really cool stained glass effect. And I might actually do one um, that has that sort of stained glass look. But you can see how that doesn't show up very well. But once I primer it, then I use Sharpie markers then to start coloring over. It shows up, it sticks to the bottle. Without that being plastic, sometimes stuff won't stick. If you don't have primer, again, just hold on to this craft uh, project until you can get some. Or you can try maybe using like a white or a gray or a black um, paint if you just have some acrylic paint and try to lay down like a couple coats onto your plastic and hopefully that will stick on there then. And then it's just a matter of, again, I used, um, uh, for this one here, again, I used Sharpie markers. I didn't finish it, unfortunately, the one marker I was using for the wings um, gave out. So I thought I, the only thing I could think of to cover that was black, and then I didn't really like how it turned out. But this is an example of using Sharpie markers then to design. This, um, uh, these two I used acrylic paint. You can see my sinister looking cat that I, that I drew. So I just decided where I was going to, um, you know, cut off the top, drew a line all the way around, cut it out, um, you know, drew the ears and everything. Um, and then I just started using acrylic paint um, on this one and just started coloring my cat. It turned out looking a little sinister, but um, still sort of cool. Um, and then for this one, I just did like a blue acrylic paint on this one to cover the base coat. Then I just happen to have some of these like sort of sticky foam hair pieces and eyes and stuff like that. So, you know, if you don't have this kind of stuff, you can use any kind of paper um, to glue on to your design. You could use just printer paper or construction paper, whatever you have to make features like that. And then I used a bigger one um, for my frog. Um, I used this two liter and again, you can see the white primer here. Um, so I primed up like that, drew a line around, cut it. Um, actually, I painted uh, the design with the whole bottle still attached. So I painted my frog and then I just cut around. Again, I had to do, I think, two coats of acrylic paint on this. Um, but, you know, you might have to do that. That's fine. And then, you know, you can use these as a plant or you can use them as some kind of holder. Um, you can maybe put pencils or something in this one as a pencil holder. I might actually do this as for my next um, uh, hack to school project in the future um, to make little containers you can put pencils and stuff in. So 
Um, it's a really fun, easy, quick way, again, to decorate some uh, plastic. Again, you don't have to use beverage containers. You can use shampoo bottles. You can use any kind of bottle to do this. So it's a real fun, easy, you know, project that you can really be creative. And on this one too, I liked this one because I tried to use the features of the bottle itself. So sort of this um, texture here um, to make the lines in the stomach and chest of the bee insect I was making. So that was another thing when I saw this, I'm like, oh, that is a really cool sort of design on it that I can incorporate into what I'm trying to do. So keep that in mind too, when you're looking for some kind of plastic, um, try to pick something that has some really cool features to it. Um, this bottle here has these indentions in there. So can you incorporate those indentions somehow into the design you're going to do? So again, just keep those things in mind as you're, you know, looking for a plastic container and then what kind of design you're going to do with that container. So hope you'll give this a shot. Again, you can use paints, you can use Sharpies, you can use stickers, you can use duct tape, you can use almost anything to decorate your container once you get it ready to go. So again, hope we give this a shot and I hope to see what you guys do. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.